um, can you tell me a little bit about your background and uh, how you came to learn about CDS and then kind of what you've been using it for and what you've been doing with it since learning that? Um, I am an orthopedic surgeon. I have a, a special degrees in pediatric orthopedic surgery and spinal surgery. I went to the university here in my hometown. It's the Autonomous University of Querétaro. Uh, I did my general uh, medicine preparation there. And after that, I did the uh, uh, traumatology and orthopedic treatment, uh, training uh, in Veracruz, which is a port in the Gulf of Mexico, in a general hospital. And after that, I did uh, one year of uh, pediatric trauma in a trauma center in Mexico City, best one in Latin America. Uh, after that, I went to the Shriners Hospital in Mexico City to do the orthopedic, uh, the pediatric orthopedic training. And finally, I went to uh, LA and, and Washington uh, University in St. Louis to, to do the uh, scully and the spinal surgery tra tra training. I was a, a common uh, surgeon, as uh, all my colleagues. Uh, I, I didn't see anything else but my uh, profile. And uh, with this uh, pandemic, I started to look in other types of uh, therapies, oxidative therapies. I had a lot of time reading at home because I was locked down. I got to, uh, to know the, uh, the chlorine dioxide solution through a video that my mother sent me of uh, biophysic and grass cocker. I saw it. Uh, I saw the benefits. I talked with him. I investigated, read other art articles, all that uh, was uh, available in the literature, and I concluded it was a, a good option to treat COVID-19. At the beginning of the pandemic here at the clinic that I work in Querétaro, in Mexico, um, we saw all the patients uh, came in and died a few days after. So I, I was very concerned with this. I, I think I had to do something else for these patients so I started to use the, the CDS and it worked uh, perfectly fine in all the patients. So I started with the first patient on the middle of May and now I have more than 3,000 patients treated in a successful manner uh, with a, an effectiveness of 99.6%. That's a, a very high rate of success with the substance. So, uh, for what it concerns to me, I'm never going to stop using this uh, substance in the treatment for COVID-19 because I'm seeing a, a, a very effective treatment and, and with no toxicity when it's used in the correct doses. Okay. Um, then a couple of questions for you about these patients. Um, is this a range of severity levels that you're treating? So are these patients that have been admitted to a hospital or are these uh, before, before coming to the point where they're being hospitalized? All types. Uh, first of all, it's important for you to notice that uh, uh, we have proof of the chlorine dioxide to be 100% uh, effective in a prophylactic way and in the treatment of patients in the very mild cases and in the severe cases, in all the stages. Uh, <clears throat> I... Um, I very strongly recommend to do the, the prophylactic treatment or the to treat the patients in the first symptoms. And that is 100% effective. Uh, nowadays, we're seeing a lot of patients that are complicated. I treat all the patients at their houses. I, I do not use the hospitals because we're not allowed to give them uh, the chlorine dioxide at our hospitals. But once they're hospitalized, they can uh, uh, require a, a legal form for uh, the treatment of uh, the chlorine dioxide and we treat some patients at the hospital but it's a very hard thing to do because we have everybody against us you know the the doctors the the people that are managing the hospitals the authorities so it's a very hard way to treat the patient because we're not in charge of the patient but we are responsible for the patient you know so that's not the ideal way to work but I treat all kinds of patients, prophylactically and therapeutically in all the stages of the disease. Okay. Now, tell, do, you, do you run a clinic or a hospital or what do you, you know, what's your function right now? Yes, uh, I, I am the general director of Centro Medico Jurica. It's a private clinic that is, uh, has high specialty in uh, 
in pediatric orthopedics and spinal surgery and other kinds of orthopedic surgery. Uh, we are not treating patients with COVID-19 here at the clinic because